hello guys welcome to many tutorials in this video i'm going to give you a demo on linear layout dynamically guys so guys but before that if you didn't watch my earlier videos then please watch it first guys because it is necessary guys to learn android okay guys so now let's move forward so guys before building a linear layout dynamically let me tell you that the recommended approach is is always xml because android decides what is best resource for you guys so so guys use this van whenever the situation is dynamic guys okay so now let's move to android studio first guys okay okay guys so here is our xml file so here i'm going to show you that what we will going to build dynamically so first let's see let's take here one text view okay with wrap content width and wrap content width okay let's set text okay so hello this is me here okay so now there's no need of this gravity let's remove this last part code and let's add its wrap content guys so okay so one more let's hide wrap content okay guys so this thing we are going to build dynamically okay so let's move forward okay guys so now let's move to our java file okay so here guys our first step is to do is to create an object of group view and view so what is our group view that is linear layout okay so linear layout creating its object l1 and there is two group uh, two views so first is text view so let's create its object tv1 and another is button guys so v1 okay so we have created its object guides okay guys so next thing we have to do that is to instant create all this object so first of all l1 equal to new here linear layout and here guys we have to pass this so guys here this refers to context guys so guys what is context so context is a way to access the system resources and platform services you can say okay so now here let's initialize this text view first okay new here text view and here guys also we are passing this this refers to context okay so now let's last that is button so equal to new button and here we also we are passing this okay so okay guys so now we have to set the dimensions so so now using layout param class so layout params here guys we are we have to okay so just remove this first and again layout param we have to take this layout params okay so let's create its object first equal to new layout params and guys here we have to here we have to set its width and height match parent so guys using layout params dot match parent and here also layout param dot match parent okay guys but guys here we have didn't set its to linear layout so first of all we have to set this layout layout params object to linear layout so l1 dot set layout 
param sky is here and here we have to pass this object lp1 okay so guys the same thing that we have to do it for this view so let's do it okay so now okay guys so here we have to set its weight and height so layout then i'm start wrap content and same for this layout param start not match parent but here to set its wrap content okay now guys here we have to <coughs> set it for the text view and button so both have wrap content so let's set it first tv1 dot set layout params and here guys we have to pass layout params object okay so let's do it for button 2 and here i'll be to same we have to pass it okay okay guys so now we have to set linear layout orientation so l1 dot set orientation guys okay so here okay so here linear layout dot here guys there should be horizontal or vertical so here we will set its vertical okay so now guys we have to set the text of text when button both so tv1 dot set text okay and here i'm passing hello this is me here okay and now here let's set buttons to text so okay here let's say show okay so it's ready but guys there's one thing that we have to do that we have to show this text view and button inside the linear layout like this so here guys using this add view method guys that is add view so here we will add child so first of all okay text view now add view again okay so another child is our button so p1 okay guys so guys now last thing we have to do that we have to re remove this r dot layout dot activity main because we didn't there is no need of this xml file right now so guys but here we have to do one thing that we have to pass this linear layout objects that is l1 okay okay so guys it's ready so let's save it first okay so guys now let's run okay so now let's run it first guys okay guys so you can okay guys so you can see here that our output is perfect guys so see you in next part so thanks for watching this video and please keep liking and subscribing my channel